It always comes to this. tattoo progress update video today um, it's been a little while since I've made one of these I've actually been maybe close to two weeks now since I've made one um, it's not gonna feel like that because I was far enough ahead that um, I wouldn't miss a release but I did get tattooed last week and I didn't get tattooed this week um, I should have two appointments to um, update on right now but um, in a way, as luck would have it, um, Rick was feeling pretty ill on Monday, and so I didn't end up getting tattooed. On that note, I want I want to talk a little bit about um, tattoo cancellations and that kind of stuff. But first, I'll show off what I got done and get into all that kind of stuff. So the last session, we ended up doing this tentacle here. So as you can see, it's nice and uh, dark and um, textured now. So hopefully you can see it there. I'll include some pictures of it. Um, so yeah, that was only about an hour and a half, I would say. It was a bit of a shorter session, but we got everything we needed to done. Um, next time we're going to be tackling uh, the eyes in here and this armpit. Now, while I'm close up here, I want to mention, someone asked me if my nipples had lightened up quite a bit recently or if... Uh, uh, it was just the light or whatever. There's a bit of that. I'm using a, a different lighting right now where you can see, like, depending on how I'm sitting, um, it looks lighter or darker. It's not necessarily because of uh, the nipple itself um, being that much lighter, but the way the light hits it shows all the flaws. Um, that being said, my nipples have definitely lightened up a bit. They haven't lightened up as much as it looks like in this lighting, but... Um, I will be hitting them again. I'm not afraid of doing my nipples again. Um, it could be the fact that with the nipple piercings, um, it's kind of made my nipples swell up a bit so that they're, uh, um, all the tissue is pushed out so you can see then any part of it that isn't completely saturated, um, you can see really, really easily. Um, so that could be the most part of why they look. Um, less saturated. They were never perfect black. My nipples have never been perfectly blacked out. I've had them done six times. Uh, the darkest they've ever got is like kind of a dark gray, but right now they're kind of like a, like a brown kind of look to them. Um, or like in the right lighting, they're brown anyway. Um, usually they look kind of a pale gray tone, but I have, even before the lighting, even without the comment on the lighting, like I've been noticing them more and more. And so whether it means I have to take my nipple piercings out or not, um, I'm going to be blacking them out again. I'm gonna use Panthera Triple uh, X and Gloom this time. So oh, I'm hoping that that'll do the trick. My nipples have been really, really resistant to tattooing. Um, this will be the seventh time that I've done them, believe it or not first did them in 2016 and uh it seems like i do them every year now maybe maybe early on i did them a couple times in a year kind of thing but um they've always been really hard to saturate i've had a few people um ask me why don't i just remove them just get rid of them all together that's an option that um other people have done when they've had the, the same thing like repeated problems like where they've tattooed their nipples over and over again and they just never become um, dark enough. Um, I don't really think that I want to go that route. It's not that that idea bothers me. It's that I've always been just specifically tattoos and piercings. I do have my tongue split, but like for the most part, I'm not really into the heavy body mod stuff. And I want to have them black and pierced. Now, I don't know if the damage to the tissue um, and maybe someone else has done this before, uh, blacked out their nipples and then tat or pierced them. I don't know if that damage to the tissue actually lightened them, but I was looking back at some pictures before I did the, the piercings and they did seem even 
even the areolas seemed um, darker before. So it is possible that uh, there was some part of the procedure um, changed the color or uh, impacted the darkness of the shading in some way. I don't know. It's hard to say, honestly. Um, whatever the case is, I'm hoping that once I get the Panthera black and the gloom in there, uh, the gloom and the triple X black, um, it will be darker and that where the dynamic black doesn't seem to be working, I'm hoping that the Panthera black helps with my nipples similarly to how it helped with my belly button. Um, for people who've been following me a long time, they'll know that um, I've had my belly button tattooed I think five times now, and I've never been able to get it dark enough. Now there is still just one little spot in there that I'll need to hit eventually. You can only see it if I show you it now. Um, my belly button is full of scar tissue, so, and similarly, I think my, my nipples are too now, or they've been pierced several times, tattooed several times. It's just really thick tissue. It doesn't like to take the, 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 uh, the ink, so. Anyway, um, as I said, I don't really care if I have to take my nipple piercings out to do this. I can always get them pierced again. It's not like I haven't before. So um, overall, if I have to go between um, tattooed nipples versus pierced nipples, I would go tattooed nipples because I'm not looking to highlight these so much as I am looking to make them um, uh, blend in. So... Yeah, I feel like I didn't talk much about this. Uh, didn't hurt much. It was a really easy session. Now, obviously, we'll be, as I said, we'll be getting back into this territory next time. You can see how this is all healed up really, really well. The nice thing about the Panthera Black is once it's in there, it doesn't seem to lighten much. Like, it, it keeps its tone. So, um, all the stuff that we've been doing this year is healing up the way it's put in. Um, I've got a few appointments in a row again, so I'll be doing that. I'm not sure what we'll be doing next. Right now, we're at a place where we can do all kinds of different things again, but um, I think we've got three tentacles left to finish, but they're all smaller ones. Well, there's three small ones and one full-sized one, so probably go back down to the tentacles again, knock more of those out, shading out on those, again with the Panthera Black. Um... I didn't really get into what I wanted to bring up a minute ago. I think maybe I'll save that for another time. I could probably make a whole video on. Um, people always ask me how long I've been tattooed. Here's a better question is how hard has it been to get tattooed that much? Now that sounds silly, but like um, anyone who's spent a long time getting tattooed will know that um, you end up sitting and waiting for a tattoo quite a bit. You end up sitting in a tattoo chair quite a bit. Uh, there's always cancellations, there's problems, will come up, all that stuff. So even though a uh, big part of, of getting the tattoos done is surviving the tattoo itself, I think a bigger challenge is jumping through the hoops that it takes to get tattooed that much um, to begin with. Because tattoo artists, I won't say they're they're hard to work with, but they're different to work with. Now, anyone who's got a lot of work done will know exactly what I mean, and I won't have to explain that too much further. I might make a whole video on some of the crazy experiences I've had um, along getting tattooed as much as I have. Some of the wild stories I've heard from different artists. And um, there was one time when I when I sat and I waited for five hours to get tattooed, and and me and the artist we never actually ended up doing anything that day. I feel like all of that time should count towards your tattoo time. And if it did, my hour count that I give all the time, I always say I've been tattooed around 1,100 hours. If I were to factor in the amount of time that I've waited to get tattooed or that I was supposed to get tattooed and didn't and um, different shit like that, I would be closer to probably 16, 1,700 hours, maybe more which is a funny stat. So yeah, there's a lot that goes into getting tattooed, a lot more than just the actual pain and the time you spend and the money you spend. There's a whole lot to tattoo culture that I feel like people don't talk about and maybe we should. Anyway, if that's a video you would like to hear me talk about, just let me know. Um, I will get a close up on that big tentacle down there because I didn't really talk much about it, if I can. So. There we have 
that big boy down there and again I'll be showing it off in some pictures alongside this video so because that probably didn't do justice um, one thing I'll touch on is I've been consistent with my fitness goals maybe you can see it maybe you don't um, not too fussed about it I'm not making a whole bunch of noise about it on social media yet because I feel like um, I'd rather uh, under promise and over deliver but um, I've been I've been working out pretty intensely part of why I didn't really mind missing that tattoo session was because I was a little bit sore anyway from fitness um, yeah I'm working out a lot harder than I ever have in my life and uh, so I've got this running alongside my tattoo journey right now so it doesn't really matter so much to me if I don't get um, get done everything I want to that week or whatever because I it's always good to have like separate goals for me it's always been yeah I'm working on my tattoos but I'm also you know stretching piercings or or whatever um, growing my hair out whatever like I've always got more than one like body mod type thing happening so now that's tattoos and fitness um, as I've moved away a bit from like I'm not stretching anything currently I probably have no more stretching goals I'm not really getting anything done that way so now my my uh, self progress or my uh, my internal progress is fitness instead of piercing so it's good to have multiple things on the go so that if one thing's not going uh, the speed you want it to be something else is that's just my little rant on that anyway like I said if you'd like to hear more about my crazy stories um, some of the things that I've sat through not just the tattoo pain uh, sat for waited for all that crap so let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys again soon